What I'm standing on now is a pretty average build, but I'm going to show you how I transformed it into an epic steampunk masterpiece. All right, so there's a lot of things we need to do today, but one of the main things we need to do is gather some resources. And one of those resources we need to get is copper. We don't need a whole lot for this build, but I do have a build planned for later on in the series that's gonna need a ton of copper. So let's head down here and see what we can find to help ourselves out. So we haven't done too bad. We got ourselves two and a half stacks of copper, as you can see here from our hot bar. And that's great. We can fortune that and see what we get. But I'll let you guys in on a little secret. I've been doing a whole ton of copper mining already in this season because I know we're going to need it. And as we're heading out the door here, I've been informed by Blonde Skunk. He left us a little gift here. We got ourselves a bit of copper, an item frame, and what looks like an orange shulker with tons of copper inside. What a guy. Thank you so much for this from Blonde Skunk with hearts and love. Awesome. But he gave us a snout armor trim. I haven't used the trims yet, but we'll definitely take a look at those in a later episode. But he has a book here for us for the king. Hey Z, just wanted to welcome you back onto the server and I'm looking forward to see what you get to building on here. Little birdie on the path the way told me that you may be in need of some copper. That little birdie was correct. I've gone ahead and got to smelting some up for you. I also gave you an armor trim, but be sure to duplicate it before adding it to a piece of your armor. I hope you enjoy all the goodies. Your friend, Blonde Skunk. What a guy. Thank you, Blonde Skunk, for that. Believe it or not, this is actually our first shulker box. So that's going to come in quite handy later on in this episode, but I'm going to go ahead and fortune all this copper here, get to smelting, and I'll be right back with you guys. All right, so we got the copper ore smelting away in our blast furnace, and we got quite a good amount amount of copper here. But the next thing we're actually going to need for the build is blast furnaces. So I'm going to put away the copper that we have and we're going to head on over to Puff's Iron Farm. And here we are. This is Puff's Iron Shop actually. Farm underneath I believe or somewhere in here. But Puff is actually giving away free iron now so we don't have to do any mining. We can just come in here and gather up as much iron as we need and we'll be on our way. Now we still do need some cobblestone to make our furnaces but I think we have plenty of that. So let's get to crafting these bad boys. All right so we need 95 blast furnaces. Looks like we need a little bit more cobblestone. Now that should do us on the furnaces. Let's go ahead and find this blast furnace. We need smooth stone as well. I do have a little bit of stone left over from our jet build in the last episode. If you guys want to check that out. I also have a little bit of smooth stone. Just going to help out a little bit. Not much, but a little bit. So let's get to smelting so we can craft ourselves some blast furnace. All right. I do believe we have everything we need for a blast furnace. Yes, we do. Go ahead and craft as many as possible. Need a little bit more iron. Not a problem. And there we have it. Looks like we have about 99 blast furnaces, which is going to do us very well. The next thing we need is some copper lightning rods. Now, we only need 91 of these. So we'll go ahead and miscount and get ourselves 94. I'm actually going to go ahead and use this shulker box for some of the materials that we've been gathering. That way, we have a nice place to store everything to make our lives a little bit easier. So I'm going to put a list on screen right now for you guys to show you what we need for this build. There's a lot of stuff that's really easy to get. So I'm going to go ahead and gather those things right now off camera and put them in the shulker box. So we're doing pretty decent on the materials so far. We'll go ahead and keep smelting some of this copper here. We're also going to grab a few of our copper blocks and we're going to start trying to age some of these guys because we do need some copper to actually patina for us so we can get that nice green color. I know that's probably not the best way to place them around, but we're going to do that and let them age naturally for us, at least for the time being. But while our lovely copper is aging, we're going to go ahead and go find ourselves some bees because we need some wax so that we can prevent some of this copper from actually aging in the future. So let's go find a few hives.
All right, so we're back from gathering bees, and we did a pretty good job. I got seven bee nests. All have bees in them, but I wanted to get one more for the farm that I'm about to create, just so we have a nice even number of nests. So let's head over to the shopping district, and I brought a whole stack of diamonds because there is one other place that I want to check out that has some gear that we're going to need, or at least some gear that I want. So first stop is actually the Honey Where Are My Plants shop. It's a plant and bee shop, I'm assuming. Let's go ahead and hop in here. There's a bee right there. Nice. So we head on in here. It's three diamonds for one. So we're going to go ahead and get a bee nest with the most bees in it, which is this guy here. So we'll take one of these guys and we'll put three diamonds there. That's basically all we need from this shop. You can buy flowers though. And I do love me some of these orchids. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy a few of these as well, just because I like them. Good decoration. What else do they have here? Oh, I love these guys. Lily of the Valley. Those are great flowers as well. Let's see. Tulips. These little guys are kind of nice too. I'll take some of those and maybe an orange tulip as well. Just to kind of give us a variety of colors. Did I pay for those? I did. Okay, cool. But I think that's all we really need from here. So let's head over to tank fro's area because tank fro actually has a few boxes or barrels full of gear over here look at this two diamonds per item so we can kind of pick and choose what we want i do want some mending on some boots but we're hoping to find one that's kind of already set up for us and it doesn't look like it so what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and take the mending unbreaking three so two diamonds there and i'm going to go ahead and take another mending i think we'll just do regular mending on these ones kind of pick the enchants we want later on um let's go ahead and check out some of this other stuff so some pants would really like some mending on these guys as well but if they don't that's fine it'd be nice to have some protection for i think just protection for is probably the best so we'll go ahead and get those pants let's look through these chest plates again we're looking for some mending there we go that's actually perfect so we'll go ahead and take that one let's see what else they have maybe for a backup beautiful and possibly one more if they have it that's a good one too actually look at that awesome so we're gonna take three chest plates let's go ahead and take another pair of pants just in case let's go ahead and grab those let's see i mean fire protection is good i'm not 100 sure maybe you guys can let me know if these are some good pants they're only two diamonds anyways go ahead and take them just in case and then we already have a helmet right no we don't okay so this would be nice let's see if we can find a good helmet here there is mending i think we'll take the mending one just because it has mending and then another one maybe yeah the unbreaking three protection three is probably the one we'll take and that's a decent amount of gear but now that we have all the stuff from the shopping district let's go back to our place it's really hard to ride a horse like that let's go ahead and go back to our base area and get the bee farm set up so we can get some wax all right so we've got all of our materials to create our little bee farm here as you can see so let's go ahead and get started on this thing i thought it was gonna be a little bit harder to build one of these but apparently it's not too bad i do want to grab a few more blocks though and grab a few spruce logs i'm gonna strip them it's gonna be our border for this farm so let's see if i can remember how to do this i need eight hoppers going across here okay that's good there now i need one two three tall so we'll go ahead and bring this all the way across just like so all right now we need to bring it out two and we're gonna grab our comparators here and we're gonna place our comparators here facing like this and then we need some slabs on this level here i believe hopefully i've done that right we need redstone across here redstone across here and then we need oh maybe i did this wrong oh that's right okay so i need another slab right there so we're gonna do full blocks across here like so and then slabs across this section here we want our redstone all on these blocks up top very good and then we want our dispensers facing down in this direction beautiful i guess we'll set up the glass first actually so we'll do the flowers down here so we need flowers for our bees to produce honey and then i'm guessing i'll probably have to tear this out so maybe we won't have wood here we'll have wood we'll have wood next to it right here so let's go ahead and put grass there wood coming up here wood across this guy here i think yeah i think to right here is probably good and then we'll come up to here bring it across like so strip all these down to make them look a little bit better i'm gonna grab a little bit of stone do i have any in here i do not well we could just use the slabs no one will know don't tell your builder friends we did that and then I do believe i'll probably put stone at the top of there possibly but we're gonna put glass in here just like that little stone there break out a few more blocks there 
Look at that. Look at nice. And then, yeah, so we are going to need stone or something there in here. So I'm going to grab a little bit more stone. 29 should do okay. I'm actually going to put a door here. So I'll put a little door here. We'll do something like this across here, like so. Probably change this one to a corner piece like that. Strip all these guys down. Let's take a nap real quick. Oh my gosh. I'm glad I got that on camera. You guys finally got to see the death trap there. Just about panicked and killed myself. Okay. We're all right though. This guy's trying to escape lately. I don't know why. Okay. So we got that going. Um, I guess we'll just do this here just to make it look okay. I don't really know. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some of these guys. I'll just put some spruce around here. Kind of close it off on this side. And just pack some dirt in here to call it good. I will need a stair here though. Okay, let's grab a few stairs. Put one over the door, one over the chest so that we can open it up. Let's get up here to the top of this thing. Okay, so we just need to kind of close this off. So we're going to go ahead and just use some dirt. I think in here we'll use some stone like so. Um, um, it would be kind of nice to have access to this little dispenser area so that we can place our shears in there nice and easily. But for, I oh, can't have that. But for the rest of this build, we can kind of just pile some dirt on here and kind of call it good. So we're going to do that. Let's grab our shears. Okay, we made 16. That means we got two shears per dispenser. I'm hoping that lasts us a decent amount of time. Shouldn't be too hard to come back in here though and place two more in each one if I need to, or even more. We have plenty of iron to do so. So it's not really that that big of a problem, but you know, there we go. Shears and all of those. We'll close this bad boy off. Kind of put some dirt up here to make it look a little nicer up here. Eventually, I ran out of dirt, but you, you get the idea. Now I might put in a torch or two just so we don't have any spawns in there. Okay, let's grab our bees and let's just put them in our hot bar. Make it a little easier on ourselves. I want a torch here, and a torch there, and the rest of these are just beehives. And we run, and I think that's the farm. It should work. I think. I mean, it's obviously doing the the sheer thing but will the bees come out just making sure i didn't mess anything up up there you know like can they not go in their home because i can hear them in there but you know there's nothing coming out all right well i'm gonna decorate the rest of this little top area and hope the bees come out give you guys a little update here as soon as it happens well there we go they're popping out now it just took them a little while but there you have it bee farm that easy that quick i didn't think it was gonna be that easy to do a bee farm but apparently it's super convenient and then we get access here look at that we already got honeycomb which is exactly what I want. I don't really need honey, though it's not hard to uh, to get it. So if we do need it eventually, it's going to be real easy for us to get some honey. Now, this probably won't be the permanent spot for these bees. I do actually have in that build that I was talking about earlier, a pretty nice area for these guys later on, a little bit more free range. And we'll probably have a farm similar to this, like in a little redstone area where we keep some of our other redstone farms. But with that being said, there's one last thing we got to do before we start the build. And that is to get rid of this guy. Yeah, let's do it. Right, we've gotten that torn down and I've been off camera gathering a few more materials for the build. I've put them all in this shulker box here. We have everything we need here and a few other pieces in my actual inventory as well. But now I do have everything ready to go. We did not have enough of this weathered copper. So luckily enough, Puffing Fish dropped a few off for us, which was real nice. Make sure to go give him a look. He's a great content creator here on the Afterlife server, as well as all the other Afterlife members. Check them out and see what they're up to here. You can see the little outline there of the schematic that we're going to be using. You can't see the build because it doesn't really work in shaders too well, but we definitely need to be using something like Light Matica to build this, I think. It's a very complicated build and would be super time consuming if I didn't use it. The mod is great. It doesn't actually place any of the blocks for me if I don't want to, but you also can. There's definitely some easy to use tools with that mod, but for me, it's just nice to see where the blocks go and makes my life a little bit easier as a content creator. But with that being said, let's get this amazing steampunk spider built.
All right, everyone. I meant to show you our beautiful build here, but I think I may have been pranked possibly. Uh, KB mentioned that he had dyed my sheep and that he was sorry if I was using them. These are his sheep, guys. These are his sheep. Yeah, see, we had we had plans. This was his sheep. And now we have pink flowers, pink petals, excuse me, everywhere. This is actually kind of crazy. I don't know if this is KB or not, but that was definitely him with the sheep. Is there still one black sheep in there? No, okay. But I mean, I don't use the sheep, so I'm not 100% sure what's going on here. I don't know if this is like a server thing. I think we we're talking about resetting the world but there's petals everywhere everywhere okay i don't know maybe this isn't kb this is this has got to be something different i don't know what's going on but we got tons of pink petals everywhere which i mean it's nice it's it's pretty it's it's not it's not bad but let's go ahead back over here and uh take a look at the beautiful build look at it in the distance over there no more red giant spider but now it's a beautiful steampunk spider that looks amazing oh and i forgot to tell you guys i can zoom in even more look how cool that is super awesome but yes guys it's absolutely um an amazing build i think it came out great hopefully you guys do as well while i'm walking up here i'm gonna show you guys in detail what this thing looks like up close and we'll talk about how i built this thing this was built over a year ago year and a half ago it was kind of the last build that i made in minecraft craft before I took my break. And I got to say, I was really proud of it. And I'm really glad to be back in here building it on the server. And now that we're up here a little bit closer, you can kind of see just how big it is compared to me. And I wanted to point out a few of the smaller details on this thing that you guys can't really see from the cinematic view, but you can kind of see what we used here. So we used hoppers for the, like the toes of the spider. I don't know if spiders have toes, but you know, the little end of the leg there, a little pointy bit. Blast furnaces were kind of, you know, they looked kind of mechanical and whatnot. And also the grindstones mixed with that made it look like it could like turn and move and, and things like that. And the copper and the levers just kind of connecting it together. Trap doors, same thing, just kind of like holds it together is what I felt. But I think the cool part about this, um, it's kind of a really small feature on the build. But these lecterns here, I originally built it with them facing, you know, outward like this. So you can kind of just get this view. But after I had built it, I had noticed that the, the books in here, it kind of looks like green, red and blue wires kind of sticking out. So I kind of wish I had used more lecterns throughout the build, and maybe we can do that later on, kind of improve it a little bit more. But I'm actually really happy with how the build came out. You guys have to let me know what you think down in the comment section. Is this an amazing build? Is it a masterpiece? Did I live up to the title of the video? Who knows? You knows. But there's plenty more builds like this to come in Season 5 of the Afterlife SMP. Like I said in the last episode, a few of us members have gotten back on the server and are kind of trying to get this thing going again. We want to get more people in here. We want to have our friends join us once again. And we want to play some Minecraft. So if you want to help that out, go show everybody in the description, all the Afterlife members, go show them some love. Let them know King Z sent you. And let's get these Afterlife videos pumping out. But with that being said, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Comment down below what you want to see next. And subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. I will definitely have more videos coming for you in the future. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time on the Afterlife SMP.